There we go! A demo right at the start! It's funny, Warbeam left the lobby, and then moments later, Wave Runners joins it. Talk about bad timing, Warbeam. But thankfully, he came back in, so I don't have to forfeit anybody. Like... Maybe next, maybe next time Wave Runners won't be, uh... Won't, won't make us... Won't be, uh... You know, they won't make things so darn tense in terms of the weight. But Rod's coming in with a great goal to start us off. Pretty much trying to make up for making us wait 11... Well, like, about 10 to 11 minutes. Well done. Lexa came in with a good assist to set things up. Now, 4 minutes and 29 seconds left on the clock. Already, Wave Runners are at the top of the game. They lead one apiece. I mean, they lead one to zero. One apiece, that's a time. What the heck am I saying? It's a Sunday. <laughs> I'm not at my best right now. But I'm gonna have to be. Excuse me for a moment. Uh, let's see. We're good. Oh, yes. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. All right, I'm awake. I'm good. Solis with a... Oh, he's eyeing that ball. He's got a little bit of turbo to his name. Oh, a little bit more for that matter. Once, keeps control of the ball. Boom. Oh! Adwa... Aldas with a good kick, but there was plenty of the vendors to put a stop to that. Solis on with a great save against Lexa. Ball is it was under orange control. And now it's deep in the goal. Let's see what happened there. I the camera angle did not make it easy to track. Oh, and oh Aldas just not only knocks the ball right out of Davy Jones's hands, but he just sends it into the goal. With a great bounce off the wall. I am not entirely sure if that was intentional. Anyways, a big thank you to everybody watching at home. This is going to be a great series, I can tell. Can we see... Oh, can we see the fixtures for this week? I'll see about showing them... I'll see about showing that off very soon. After all, we're going to be going into week six. And we want to get an idea of what's what. Mind you, I'm going to be showing fixtures in a hurry, so it may, what I have in mind may not look the best, but at least you guys will get to see what's coming up. Now we're turning. we got Lexa with a good shot off the wall. Good setup. Lexa coming back in. I think that was Adas or that made that long kick. No, I think it might have been Lexa who pretty much set something up for himself, but couldn't quite capitalize. Couldn't quite make the finish. Lexa again with some serious area of control, trying to carry the ball into the net, but was intercepted. Watts, keeping the ball in the air, high in the sky like a bird. Solis misses the touch. Ah, but Warbeam was right there to pick it up. Warbeam misses too. Getting some, uh, we're getting some whiffs from War from the BB Jones, as I expected. And once again, I am texted, and I must turn this darn thing off. There we go. All right, now that that play has been fulfilled, as the phone is turned off to the point where he cannot be heard, Solus gets a great demo against Lexa. But can they capitalize? Nope. Doesn't look like they can. Not in time, anyway. More B. And... Yeah, Blaze. There we go. I had to make sure I was reading the name right. Solus demos once... Do they have the chance? Oh no! The other the other two members of Wave Runners denying them the chance to take full advantage of the demo. Oh! Solis and Aldaz fight for the ball, but Aldaz wins the fight. Blaze throws it out, but loses. Warbeam takes control in the scuffle. Oh, it gets bumped for his trouble. Solis though. Right there to pick it up alongside Blaze. Exa decides to get some turbo while using turbo. I'm sure what was going on there. Somebody got a demo. And whoa! Excellent shot from Solus, but Lexa picked it up. It's two zip in favor of Wave Runners. They could be taking game one unless something is done about it in the time span of less than a minute. More bean. Good control. Loses control to Lexa, though. They want one more goal for the roll, then. Oh, an excellent knockaway. 
Bit of a risky play there from Blaze, but he knew what he was doing, and he did it well. Solis knocks the ball into blue. If they want to do something, they better do it now. Alexa takes aerial control, bumps into his own teammate, but makes the shot anyways. I, I know it was mainly Alexa who made the shot, but I, I think in the scuff, I think it, during that bump, Wands touched it. So he, so he got the shot, according to the game. 10 seconds left. This is clearly Wave Runner's game. And there's time enough for one goal. Wants knocks the ball high. And... Oh, wait, wait. Ball's still in play. Ball's still in play. Ball is not in play. Wave Runner's take game one of this series. A good start to the series. A good start to this lovely stream day. Now, what does what does Davy Jones have to do in order to come back from this? Let me take a look here. You can't see Davy Jones a whole lot, if at all, on the offensive side. They got a couple shots in, Blaze especially, having the most shots in his team, but they were all over the place on defense. Unfortunately, a couple cracks in the armor was all it took for Wave Runners to get those two goals. On the opposite side of the coin, Rave Runners were everywhere on offense. Like, offense was a good defense for them because they only needed to make a couple of saves when it counted. So, Lady Jones, they need to step things up. They need to bring in the pressure in game two onwards if they want to counter Wave Runners' offensive play. But they gotta be careful not to overcommit, or maybe they could force Wave Runners to overcommit somehow. If they can do that and take advantage of the uh, if they take advantage of the opportunity, then we could see some surprise goals. Now, with that being said, we're getting things ready for game two of this excellent matchup between these two teams. This is division one. We're ready to go. Scoreboard is on the screen right now. Let's begin. And whoa, that could have been an early goal right then and there, but no deal. <laughs> Okay, just to learn a little something about Blaze's in-game name that I'm not sure if I wanted to know. Anyways, Lexa, eye on the ball, keep it co keeping his composure, playing it cautiously for a moment. Aldaz, like, like Lexa just like Aldaz have that one. Whoa, that whiff was perfect for Aldaz. Passes it to Lexa, oh! What a denial from Solis, Dixie, taking control, oh, okay. Wants? He has control. Warbean tries to go for the interrupt. Misses. And it leads to a goal. Blaze tried to put a stop to it. You can see ba a, barely a whip. And then Blaze... Oh, he tried to knock it away, but the touch was way off. Very awkward. Now, it is 1-0 in favor of Wave Runners. This is a very familiar sight, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody in between. And all those good folks everywhere around the world. Blah, 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 doop, 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 doop. This is Rocket League. Let's have some fun. Blaze is eyeing it. He's down on after. He's got very little turbo, but it was enough to get a demo. That was not an easy demo to get, all things considered. And another demo. Blaze is hungry for blood. Okay, I should say oil because these are rocket cars. Oh god, I got this image in my head as Blaze gets the first goal for his team after destroying two-thirds of the opposing team. It's tied now, one apiece. Hey, I actually said it at the right time. Good for me. Solis takes control. Ooh, knocks it off the wall. Blaze and whoa, Blaze and Soul Blaze and Warbean trying to make a teamwork play just didn't quite work. Solus with that great setup though, that was good teamwork play from all three players. Excuse me, didn't quite cut the mustard though. I would finish it as Warbean tries to get the pressure on Blue, but doesn't quite work out for him. Lexa knocks the ball high. Good touch, good touch. Oh, another good touch from once. And, oh man, it's a battle of the touches. Touches and kicks everywhere. 
Who knows who's gonna keep the ball for longer than a few seconds? What? Okay, with a well-timed demo courtesy of Ados to Warbean, once knocks it in, while the defender gets careened. Blaze, the other defender, was just not in position in time, and Ados recognized that was going to be a thing. Good read, very good read on Ados's part. So it's 2-1 in favor of wave, wave Runners. They are certainly riding this wave of success. But will they ride it all the way to victory? Or will Davy Jones and Locker take these, take these players and drag them under? Yeah, I just realized both of these teams are very much uh, ocean-themed, water-themed in their names. But Davy Jones being more of the piratey theme. Ados takes control. Wants his eye on the ball. He's going to try and play it safe for a moment. He tries to go for it, but misses. Okay, uh, there we go. We got a bit of a tussle for that ball for a brief moment there. And the tussle continues as Solis keeps the pressure on Wave Runners. This is exactly what David Jones wants and needs to do. They've been doing it throughout the game, and they got them a goal. Let's see if they can get another one. More pressure from Solis after the save. Another one. Another kick from Blaze. Solis is back. No, Warbeat, excuse me. They are, they are doing great with the rotation. So far, so good. Warbeat has no trouble. Now he has all of it. Blaze knocks it away. Trying to set something up further back. Oh, Blaze knocked the ball away from Blue. Deep on Orange right now. Right now, Davy Jones are on defense mode. They need to go into attack mode, and soon. Unfortunately, the ball being deep in orange does not help matters much. Blaze with a good touch for now getting further in. 50 seconds left on the clock. They need to tie this game up now. Oh, Lexa with some strong defense. Nice speed defense at that. Ball gets knocked a little bit into, yeah, deep into blue. Wants is there, though, to stop it. Here comes Blaze. Blaze misses the ball, but bumps into Wants, which is about as good. Oh, the ball is so close to the net. It was for a moment. Oh, Blaze keeps it there, keeps it on the blue. This is good. Or being with a good touch, and then here comes Solis. Bounces it off the top. Solis again keeps it going. A good touch and a good shot from Warping right past the defenders. 15 seconds left on the clock. It is a tie game. Here comes Blaze. Solis setting up together. Warping with a strong finish past the defenders. Well done. It is a tie game. Superb. Okay, here we go. Oh, Ados. He wants to get the tiebreaker and go right the heck now. But no deal, says the defensive force, and Watts says yes, yes, we are winning this game. You're going to have to take the L. Six seconds left on the clock. Davy and Jones locker, though. They got the skills and the experience to pull off a six-second goal. That's within six seconds. But can they do it this time around? Wave Runners, a pretty strong defensive team, and Warbeam gets the gets a revenge demo on Ados early on, right at the side of the face. A ball is still in play, and whoa, ho, ho, ho. whoa! Let's take a look. Solus, the Blaze, and then Solus. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Warbeam gets the goal, and we are in overtime in this best of five series. This is game two. This is Division One. I know this meme can be annoying, but you all love to see it. I know, I'm loving it. Lexa. Blaze, having a bit of a tussle. There's a chase. Who wants that ball? Solus wants it more. Lexa takes control. But here comes Blaze. The rotations on Davy Jones Locker are on point. They've been all point all game. Oh, Solus with the miss. That could have been dangerous, but Blaze was right there to... Do the bump and the defense. There was a little bit of a bump action on the opposing team. I think it might have been a bit of a miscommunication. Actually, it was a miscommunication. It might have been a miscommunication on Davy Jones' side. But 
It's all working out so far. Great defense from Blaze. Ball is still on orange side. This is not where Warbeam wants his team to be right now. They want the ball to be deep in blue. More to the point. And so far, that is exactly where it is. But that could change in a heartbeat as we see it. Oh, get knocked. Wait, towards Solus. He was right there at the right time. ADOS. He's eyeing it. He's gotten turbo. He's got no turbo to his name. He's waiting for the boost. And he gets it right when it spawned. He knew when it was going to spawn. That's some good boost awareness. He's eyeing. He's keeping an eye on that ball. Blaze. He's gonna, yeah, he recognized where the ball was going to go. And instead of chasing after it, he moved back to grab it. You don't always have to chase. You got to know when to chase and when to pull back. Oh, Ados decides to add a demo of his own to the great battle between him and Warbeam. Oh, that could have been a great capitalization of that demo, but Blaze was there to deny them that. We're approaching two minutes into overtime here. Still 3-3. Whoever wins this gets the game to win. Oh, that bump. Wants and Blaze having a battle. Blaze keeps up with the saves, and no, it's not enough. Once, with a great goal. Okay, Alexa sets it up. Warbeam tries to knock it away, but just couldn't get the right touch. Once is right there to make the play. Oh. Oh, man. What a battle. Wave Runners have been to fight it out right into overtime, but they take game two, and now they are in winning position. Davy Jones Locker, they are in a, the worst part of a reverse sweep situation. They need to get the reverse sweep in order to win this whole thing. They lose again, they are done. They take the they, they take the week five loss. How do you like that match, folks? That was amazing. Came down to the wire and regulation, and then overtime. <laughs> oh man! I can't wait to see what... Okay, Warbeam has to go, so they gotta get their sub in. Okay, that's fair. And so long as that sub is in the roster, I will allow it. Okay, so that sub is coming in. Six will be replacing Warbeam. Now, Warbeam was very much instrumental in making that game last as long as it did. Like, giving his team a clear chance at winning. But Will Six's placement into the game in place of Warbeam change up the dynamic of the team itself? If so, will it be for the better or for the worse? That is the question I, am, I must ask. Hey, Pasca! All right, I'm checking a look at the chat right now. Oh, you guys are great. You guys have been an excellent audience. Now, just waiting on the match to begin. And hello, hello, we are in. Six is in for Warbeam. We are ready to go. You guys don't wait very long, and I love it. All right. Didn't even give me a chance to look up Six. <laughs> All right, so Blaze. Taking control. Six leading the charge. But I don't know if you guys noticed, but that game really woke me up. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, fired me up and then some. I'm still fired up. Blaze keep trying to keep control. It's a little bit wobbly there. Want? Better watch out for him. <laughs> good, good. They're watching out for him. Blaze with a great defense. I think I did not press a key that caused problems, because I... <laughs> Anyways. Keep my hands off the keyboard as we continue. Six and Blaze with a great touch action. Starting up the game with a goal. This is the first time that... Yeah, this is the first time Davy Jones is actually in the lead in this series. Six and Blaze training touches to make that goal happen.
Let's see what Wave Runners will do about it now that they're finally behind. Already we're seeing the benefits of Six being a part of our starting lineup. For Davy Jones Locker, excuse me, I had to burp. Thankfully, it was, one, it was one of those silent burps, so you guys didn't have to hear it. Unless, of course, you wanted to hear me burp. Uh, I cannot burp on command. I wish I could, though. That would be a funny skill to have. Oh, oh, once with a great defensive play. He had his, the rest of his team there with him. They were trying to touch the ball, but they were not going high enough. And Watts was like, let me show you how it's done. And just kicked it away. Way to show up your teammates, Watts. <laughs> Likes it with a good save of his own. He's going to try and knock it in, but nope. He has to deal with the defenders up in front. Solus having all the boost in the universe. And the multiverse. And the omniverse. He's going to try and use it. Whoa. Went right under the ball. Si oh man, Six and Lex are having a battle! And everybody joins in! <laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Overcommit! 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 I was talking about this, but I didn't expect it to happen in reverse! There you go! David Jones overcommitted trying to get that goal! They didn't have to get that goal at that time! They were already in the lead! They could have had a defender in the back! Just waiting for the inevitable ball to come in. Or inevitable shot. Well, that's the way I see it. Now the game is tied. Oh! It could have been... It could not have been... It could have been a, tie, a broken tie at that moment. But thankfully, bounced off the crossbar. Lexa! Okay. Solis is going to try and keep the pressure going. And he does. And there was nobody in the goal in time. He recognized that situation. And took it by the horns and ran on a ride with it. Yeehaw! Six and eight us. See them up and you see them on the camera. I'm thinking they're gonna have a few more battles for good measure. Right now the game is pretty much Davy Jones longer. Two, it's one to two in favor of them, but. That could change in a heartbeat. Wave Runners are exceptionally good compared to Davy Jones' locker, who are also exceptionally good. These two teams are amazing. Much love to them both. Whoa! Six with a solid save. He can attack as well as protect. Whoa! He, yeah, he can attack. Yeah, like I said, attack and protect. <laughs> Six keeping the ball. Okay, yeah, yeah. Six and Soul is keeping the. Whoa! That could have been another goal! Oh, and it is! Okay, it was so close at one point. You all saw it. You all saw the pixels. It was like a couple pixels away. I think. But it went in anyway. Six getting a goal for his team with help of Blaze. Rotations have been pretty good for Davy Jones Locker. Wave Runner, they... They need to step up on the, on the defense. They know now that they can't let the goal be like they have in, in the past. Six has, six has been a boon for Davy John Soccer. Couldn't have picked a better sub. I think Warbean is looking at this match with pride right now. Looking at this team and thinking, those are my Davy Jones. Those are my boys. I know I would be. Still plenty of game left to play. As Alexa, oh, no, Wands, excuse me. Takes control of the ball, sends it deep into orange, but there's plenty of orange to defend against it. Alexa. Once. Good ro good rotation. Good passing. Alexa again. Then Ados. Alexa. <laughs> Alexa again. There we go. Okay, that's part one. Part two is getting the third goal. Part three. Part four, profit. All right, here we go. Once, take its control of the situation, but six is right there. And Solish just says, no, you're dead now. At least for a few seconds. Solish touches it. 
sorry, my Okay, I'm feeling a little better. Once. Touches the ball. Oh, here comes six. It misses a rare whip. Clock is ticking. Clock is ticking. Oh, Alexa kicks the ball before getting bumped. Ados gets it, but oh no! Blaze makes a save and it's a battle on Orange. This could either be a tie game or this could go to... Oh, David Jones takes the win! They are still alive in this series. Okay, Rave Runners, they need to shore up their defense now because now they know without a doubt that David Jones Locker can bring in the offensive pressure, especially with 6 2 leading the charge. Let's, yeah, let's see. Of course, Wave Runners still gotta bring in the offensive pressure that they've been known for since game one. On David Jones Locker? Their rotations have been on point. Their fresh, their offensive and defensive, uh, their offense has been on point as well. But as we saw with Wave Runners getting two goals, there are cracks in the defense. Cracks that Wave Runners can take advantage of if they can get the chance. Now I am hoping that this goes to a game five. In fact, in fact, I'm gonna make a prediction. Will this go to game five? I think it will. But what do you guys think? Here's the prediction poll, folks. Oh, Steve Finch is like, it doesn't matter. because It doesn't matter if this game, it doesn't matter if they forfeit or not because they will win either way, essentially. They're like, Warping's like, yeah, we'll win no matter what is what, what, is what we're getting at here. Warbeam with the smack talk. Aim squarely at Wave Runners. Let's see if David Jones can back up Warbeam smack talk as we uh, get head first into game four. Oh, we're getting a lot of votes in for game. We're getting some plenty of votes in for game five. Like, will this go to game five? I'm seeing a bunch of channel points being. Being delivered here, being placed, being, a lot of bets being placed, but honestly, honestly, I think it will go to Game 5, because these two teams, they're that, they're that good. They deserve to make bring this to Game 5. They deserve a Game 5 uh, end. And I will... Okay, so wh while I was looking at the darn darn prediction poll, we got a goal in for David Jones Walker, and I missed the gus darn replay. What the heck? Eh, I, I suppose well, I can check it out on the... Uh, I can check it out on the VOD, or rather, I can check it out when the match goal gets uh, placed on our YouTube channel. Look us up on YouTube. Slips HQ on YouTube. As once takes the ball, knocks it up around the top, sets it up for Alexa, and Alexa capitalizes even with the defender there. Let's take a closer look. Wants with the setup. Six tries to put a stop to it, but he gets he flies away. Blaze tries to stop it, but he was just not there in time. Couldn't quite get into position. Alright, so we, our prediction poll has ended. So we got 53% yes, 47% no. So it's practically divided as to whether or not we go to game five. Somebody is gonna get points. Game is tied. One apiece. Six get the demo on Ados. Solus goes under the ball. Blaze is right there to pick it up. Messes with Ados at the right time. A tactical bump is what I like to call it. Pretty much turning that goal into free real estate. If you get the reference, then you know who I'm referencing. If you know, then you know. <laughs> Ados. Follow the ball, keeping it for a little bit. Oh, not sit away from the, from the aggressor. Sends it, sends it to Wants, who sends it to Lexa. Lexa keeping it way out of blue and towards orange. Six. Knocks it away from the goal. Blaze. 
That's a good kick upwards. Six. And Oxen further away has to deal with a, de with a defender though. Solus destroys Ados at the right time. Solus gets the goal. Solus is really, really messing with uh, land. He, he is just not... Like, poor, poor Ados is having a bad day right now on account of Solus. <laughs> oh, let's see if that changes. David Jones Locker, they want that game five and they want it back. I for one am all for it, but let's see. Blaze Runners, they're a strong team. They can tie this game up. They've got plenty of time to do it. They've got the skill and experience to pull it off. It's gonna be tough dealing. It's gonna be tough doing that against David Jones Locker as Six gets a demo on I'm not sure which blue guy it was. I did not read the name in time. Six, eyes it. He has a little bit of trouble. He tried to help with the defense, but Solus is like, I got this son. It took him. Ados. The battle between Ados and Solus again, but Solus gets bumped by once. Shades of what happened earlier when Solus bumped Ados. What an interrupt in the air. It's like Wads was like, Vengeance is mine. <laughs> he got it too. Way to avenge your teammate. Two minutes and change left on the clock. Blaze. Great defense. Great save right there. Solus taking control. Oh, deep and blue, but he has no turbo to use to capitalize. Nexa, however, has plenty of it left in the tank. Solus gets a demo on once. No, no, no opportunity to capitalize it, I am afraid. Six. Takes control. Solus leads the charge. With just a little bit of turbo left. A hair of turbo at that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bounces off the crossbar. But the finish was whipped. And oh, the overcommit that, that resulted in a goal. Oh, okay. So, the uh, goal attempt. The failed goal attempt on Wave Runner's part resulted in an overcommit that led to this. So now it's 4-2. They gotta have somebody in the back when they're doing plays like that. Wave Runners, I mean. They know what David Jones Locker can do when left to their own devices. So they gotta account for that. Lexa sets it up. Oh, but Solus was there to put a stop to the finish before it could even get anywhere near the goal. Lexa damos Blaze. Six makes a great shot, but it's just not cutting the mustard. Less than a minute left on the clock. Ball is deep on blue. Solus. He was eyeing it, but it gets knocked away deep into orange. Blaze takes full control high in the sky. Once. Takes it when it was dropped, but he gets bumped for his trouble along with the ball. Six has some turbo to his name. A little bit more. Blaze. Okay, Blaze gets the kick in. So does Solus. At this point, they're playing keep away. Six uses all the turbo he has to make the shot. Blaze comes in. It bounces off the crossbar. It just rolls right past the goal. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, well, not too badly because David Jones are in the lead. Could we go into game five and... Whoa, I think we will. Because Solus just gets the... Let's go, as I like to call it, because David Jones did not need it, but they got it anyway. This late into the game, 4-2 would have been sufficient. But nope, gotta get that fiver. <laughs> All right, so four seconds left on the clock. Where are we going into game five? This is exciting, and whoa, okay, we got... Okay, so Wave Runners took control of the ball, knocked it clean in the air, stole this, bump, knocks it high, and that's it. That is it. We are going into game five. I am all for it. This is amazing. We all expected game five from a Div 1 match. I'm sure, and we got it. Now, upon retrospect... Oh, sorry about that. Upon retrospect, Wave Runners got a little bit desperate when they were making those uh, offensive plays. 
desperate to the point of letting overcommit opportunities come up. And I'm like, Wave Runners, calm yourselves. You can do this. Alright? You know you've got strong offense. Just gotta make sure you got people in the back for when it comes time to keep the ball away from that net. Now, as for David Jones' locker... Yeah, I know the ping. The ping. The ping is real for Rave Runners. And yet they have gone to Game 5 with a strong Div 1 team. That is impressive. A big, a big show of props to Rave Runners for taking the ping like champs. Now, as always... I ping is a factor when going into a match like this. Or going into any match. Now here we go, we are well on the way in this game 5. Who do you guys think will win it all? Let's find out. There we go. Now I got a good view of the action. As 6 gets a great shot in right before being booked. Wants with a great defense. I'm expecting this game to go into overtime. I hope it goes into overtime, because that's maximum competition. Maximum hype. Chat, are you hyped with me? Because I'm sure it's head hype. Alexa, eye on that ball. He's waiting for the opportunity. Oh, he loses it thanks to Blades. Ball gets high into the air, but Solis going to try and keep the pressure on, but that was a bit of an off touch. Oh, Alexa trying to shove the ball in, but that's just not going to work. Sometimes shoving it in works, but not that time. I think he's going to need a... I think he's going to need a bigger... Uh, I think he's going to need a battering to get through that defense. Oh, a bump in the air. Ados sees an opportunity. He's going to try and do something about that ball. He demo. Oh, he gets de once gets demoed by Blaze. Solis has a bit of a tussle, and then destroys Lexa just because he can. Six. Good shot. Looked like a setup. That was denied. Solis, another demo. Once makes the shot. Blaze is right there to make the save. Ados, a bit far away from the action, but not for long. Blaze takes control, using all of his turbo. Six, knocks the ball high, ran to the seal. Blaze is right there to keep the ball away. A little bit of pressure coming in from Wave Runner for a brief moment, but now the pressure is on them. Lexa whips it, but Ados doesn't. Good, good, good cleanup. Oh, unfortunately, Lexa whiffs again. In fact, was it Lexa who whiffed again? No, it was Ados. It was Ades. It was Ades. Ados. Ades. How have you pronounced the name? Oh, badly timed whiffs. That will cost you a win. Let me tell you. Lexa takes the ball away, but oh, he gets blown away for his trouble. So let's, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ados, Ades, yeah, um, you know what, I'm just gonna be consistent and call him Ados. If I'm wrong, let me know in the chat. I'm gonna make sure. Uh, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, Wave Winners are in South America. They are the one of the only other teams in the Slips League that play in South America. Big shout outs to the, uh, Sam Seed. Six deletes Lexa. Pressure is being placed on Wave Runners. This is not what they want at all. Obviously, Blaze keeps the pressure going. Good sound rotation so far. Oh, speaking of which, Solis knocks the ball back into blue. And six is turn. Oh, Lexa destroys Solis. Not every day you see him get blown up, blown up to little itty bitty pieces. Once, it's 
Zion the Zion the battle ahead, waiting for the right moment. Get some turbo along the way. They toss and once. Oh no, okay. once uh, touches the ball, so does Lexa. There's a bit of a scuffle on blue side. Once with a great save. One minute left. There's still time enough to tie this game up. Six. Six and oh Solus misses the touch. Lexa with a good save. Once with a good kick. Eidos with a good kick of his own. But it ends in a save from Solus who was there at the right time. And oh, Eidos keeps the pressure going alongside Lexa. Which is what Wave Runners have been needing all game. And now we got a tie game at game five. Woo! 37 seconds left on the clock. Watts. He had control for a moment, but okay, Ados. That's a bit of a scuffle with Solus over the ball. Solus blows up once for his double. Blaze. Gonna try and do something about it. Oh, thank goodness Sig was right there to do it for him. Blaze was just not getting there fast enough. Wants to sign the ball as Ados takes full control. Game is still tied as the clock winds down on regulation. No turbo for Ados at this moment. One uh, second left. Ball is still in play. Therefore, it's still active. And there we go. We got overtime, folks. 1-1 one, one in the final game of this series. Can we get some puckers in the chat? I want to see puckers. Like, lots of puckers. For this match for these two teams. And wait a minute, I looked away for her moment and Blaze just says, yep, this is game is over. And so he does a solo shot from damn near down, damn near all the way on the other side of the field and gets the goal in because over to it. I look away for a moment and the game's over. Like you're blinking, you miss it. <laughs> all right, a big shout out to David Jones Locker and Wave Runner.